Hello, in this night we want to take care of his uh, old pair of double monks. The color, of, or the genuine color of the double monks had been a dark gray, and I have recolored them with a patina cream of boot black with the collections in blue. And now we want to clean the shoes with the Too Faced Blues lotion, which has three functions. First, to clean and to remove the rest of the stains and stuff and so on. It has to, it will nourish the leather because it contains not only the cleaner but argan oil. And the argan oil has a second function, it has to smooth out the leather. And uh, to cream and to polish the shoes, we use the artist palette number one, also made by Boot Black. The first product you can buy at Boot Black. It's the best cream worldwide, I think. But let's have a try. Okay, let's start. Okay, the stuff has removed, the dust has removed, and now we start with the Too Faced Blues Lotion. I have to shake it so that it will become white, and then the argan oil and the cleaner are mixed. And at the same time, I can clean the shoes and nourish them. Okay, let's have a look. As you can see, the leather will be very darkened at the reason that the argan oil penetrates it and in this way we speak of nourishing. It brings in the oil so that the leather maintains its elasticity. Here you can see the nourishing effect very easy also, that the leather becomes darker. And the surface of a leather, of a shoe, is smoothed out by the argan oil, which is an 
the two face bristle ocean. Okay. On the two we have to have a lot of attention so that the two will be smooth after the work with the two-faced bristle lotion and that the leather will be very nourished fine. And now, without the weight, we bring on the leather with cream, the Arches palette. We only take a little bit, not so much, on the first shoe, because the consumption of this cream is very low. Hope you can see it better. I eagle eyes first the deeper parts of the leather and then I make circular movements to get a better spread out of the cream. And you can see the first shine of a shoe. This is effect is caused because the artist palette contains much more wax in it than other shoe creams.
while I am creaming you can see in the camera on the mo on your monitor the first shine it is a very small one of course because I am creaming the shoe and not polishing the effect you will see in some minutes here I have to have a lot of attention on it so that it will be cream enough in all parts of the leather. Here you can see it now the shine effect a little bit. First shoe ready. Now the second one. The first shine is to be seen while I'm creaming. Very important is that you spread out the cream without much pressing because it doesn't need it. The leather soaks so much oil it wants or it needs and the rest is too much. It is very important that you don't spread out too much cream because if you do it you have to remove it after the creaming with the polish brush and that's not necessary, that's lost material. That reason that the shoes are very old, more than 10 years, I have to have a lot of attention on the little damages of the leather and that's why it needs a little bit more time than normal because the leather is old. I change direction of my cycles Have a look. It's very important that the spread out is make it 
carefully so that you don't have mountains and valleys in Valaya, which is a lot of work to equalize them with the polish brush or what I will show you with the hand. Okay, second shoe print, and now we take the first to polish it. And that's very simple, we make it with the hand. Ready? What do you think about it? Is it good enough? The shine of the shoe? Now the check. So, let's have a look. Finished. The shine is very nice. Oh, what do you think? It's good enough. That's the shine and or gloss as you want over shoe cream. Used the artist palette by Boot Black and the Too Faced Plus Lotion by Boot Black. Boost VDL combination to make a short time shoe care. Thank you very much for watching.